Hi guys. Um, <laughs> I uh, today about uh, a new clock, and it's this alarm clock, and it's a very uh, rare one. It's a uh, Wurlitz three in one. Um, I shall explain what three things are. Um, well, it's not very cheap on the internet, I, uh, I would say. Um, so on the top we have three uh, big buttons so we have an alarm button so it's on or off so I will switch the alarm to three o'clock there's the click and I will switch it on and it's very loud so that's extremely loud um, then the second switch it says repeat and full that's also for the alarm so what you just heard was a full alarm when I switch it to repeat um, it will ring in intervals so first it will ring for five seconds and it stops and then um, well, I think it stops for 15 seconds and then it ring again for five seconds so now you don't hear anything Yeah, I blocked the bell, so it's extremely loud. So now it's stopped, and a few seconds it will ring again, but I'll switch it off just for the noise. And the third thing, and that's the reason why this uh, alarm clock is very uh, big and rare. You can see there's a, there are three winding keys. So one for the uh, time, one for the alarm, and one for um, striking. So there's a third switch on the tops it says strike so this clock also strikes the hour so first the half hours and then the hours not once but one once for every hour And if you want, you can switch it off so it won't chime. So that's the reason why it's a very rare one. Uh, I just bought it today, I think for seven and a half euros. And on eBay, you can find it for at least uh, 150 euros. So that's, yeah, it's quite a bargain. And the second clock I got as a gift from my uh, neighbor. That's this one. At first sight, you would say it's um, a quartz clock, but it's a semi semi electric. I know it's filthy. It was uh, stored in the basement, so let's see the back. So as you can see, if um, uh, um, a bob that turns instead of swings like uh, an uh, anniversary clock the, so that's a mechanical part and fun thing is the clock is driven by this weight and it's going down as you can see and when it's down in here it breaks a contact um, it, so it makes contact and um, this is an electromagnet and when there's electrical contact, uh, the electromagnet will pull up um, the weight and start over again. So, uh, <laughs> that way is so it uses a D cell battery, but that's the only thing. Right, I shall add. Oh. <laughs> That's extremely bright, sorry guys. So the contact happens here. So that little point, when it touches with that point, um, there goes a current to the electromagnet, which, which 
which pushes um, this lever to push up the weight. That's it. So it's a very nice feature uh, with the second hand too. So uh, that was my uh, day today. Uh, I hope uh, to see you next time. Bye guys.